Because we haven't caught it. Get it how I live it. I live it how I get it. She said she had no rhythm. Oh, cold answer. She was telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> that was no exaggeration, kids. <laughs> it gets better. Oh my goodness. Fix the ballast point. Alright, so we've been fishing for about an hour and a half now. Only? Oh my goodness. I don't know, it feels longer just because we haven't caught anything, you know? How's that make you feel? I'm okay. I like being out here. It's different to not catch something right away, you know, but I think it'll make it more special when we do. Because we will. I like your confidence. Yeah. Yep. So I how's, don't know. how's this compare and contrast to the fishing that you're used to? Um. You know what? Fishing is fishing in general. Like, I enjoy it. Um, for sure, what's going to happen is if we don't catch anything, I'll become obsessed with with fresh water because I'll need to I'll need to be able to say that I was able to... You're all about the chase. Yeah. Like, it, if it doesn't pan out, like, I'm... Pr See, but I don't want to fish around where I'm at. Like, up here in Northern California, it's different. Like, I feel like where I'm at, like, it's, like, man-made lame lakes. And then I feel like then I don't get any credibility for catching fish because it's going to be, like, those were put there for you. you actually, know? it's tougher, believe it or not. And you actually have more street cred if you can make it happen down at home. It's crazy like as that Like, where pudding stone? Hey, don't, don't hate on the pud. That's home. Okay, wait. Is that where they have, like, those, like, hot tubs that, like... Over. The pudding stone tubs. <clears throat> okay. What do you know about that? A little. Oh. Not. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> we're done. We're done. So what this called is called it's called an underskin. Mm -hmm. That's the jig head with its little willow blade, and that's a swim bait body. So when you swim it, it's nice and steady. Okay, and you wash it in the water. The tail kicks. And the blade spins. So you want to you want to picture that bait doing that just along the bottom. Like see these rocks? Mm -hmm. You want to be able to feel it like just hovering a couple inches above the bottom, because it's doing two things. It's making contact with that piece of cover and making sound. You want to be able to get out of the rocks too. If you let it sink too slow or too low and go too slow, you're gonna get stuck. So there's like a sweet spot. Like there's a bunch of fish here. We're gonna just cast out. The same thing. Control your line, and it's gonna sink. There's a lot of trees and stuff down here. And once it hits the bottom, you wanna hold the rod at a little bit of this angle. Mm -hmm. Not quite 90, not quite 45, maybe like 30 mm -hmm. degrees. And you're gonna wind about this speed. And it's just slow and steady. And you're gonna picture that bait, the tail kicking, the blade flashing. And when they bite, you don't wanna jerk. You just wanna keep winding. They'll, they'll hook themselves. You might wanna pick up speed a little bit like that. And once you feel the pressure, that's when you turn. Okay? Damn it, damn it. 
demonstration fish? Are we supposed to do it again? Where are you, Demo? <laughs> Not quite a beer uh, technique. <laughs> faster through here, trying to get like an aggressive fish. See, I just came up way shallow, it's only like 10 feet here, 10, 11 feet. Faster. About twice that fast. There you go. You're on the sea. You're on the one faster. Turn left. Yeah, you got one. Turn. Yeah, nice and easy. Nice. Yes. yes. Now keep it bending the rod, remember, like we talked about? Uh -huh. Nice and easy. Yep. And just keep it coming. You're doing great. Wind, wind, wind. Yep. Turn the rod a little bit more 90 degrees. Perfect. That's awesome. <laughs> How's that feel? Oh, it's coming up. Might be a nice hard now. Okay. Now, as long as that fish is keeping a bend in the rod, you're good. You don't have to wind, but you want to maintain a bend. So, like, right now it's straining out. Wind a little bit. There you go. There you go. Now, let it pull. Let the rod do its work. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. Nice and easy. Okay. Oh, that's a nice one. Yes! Take what it gives you. Let the rod do the work. Yes. <laughs> Somebody just lived their big bass dreams. I can fish God. That is an incredible oh, first bass. Oh my right god. There. Than Oliver as of today. <laughs> oh, dang. 
That's no lie right now. That's a true That's statement. That's the truth. That uh, is a true statement. She's 100% right now. Hook to, hook to land ratio. I'm at zero. Ah, <laughs> uh, why, why the f are we moving? <laughs> we're going right back to where we were. Oh, at. did we drift? We drifted off. That was sick as hell. Okay, so so when you when you feel it, like you do feel it. It's oh, yeah. not it's not nearly as aggressive. as aggressive as what I'm used to, but there was that like now that I know what it what it feels like, I know you know it's not see that's a hard part. It's the wind, it's the current, it's all that stuff, and you're like, maybe I have one, maybe you don't, maybe I've lost like 15 fish and I don't even know it. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty stoked. Let's do it again. Yes. How are we living? We're living good. Word on the street is you popped your cherry. Sure did. <laughs> Caught my first uh, freshwater fish, um, a largemouth bass, right? Impressive. Yeah. Can I get her? Let's let's see what she's can all I, about. Can I show you? Cherry. <laughs> and you popped her yeah. right in the face with the war baits and a and a haze dong shad. Hi, sweet. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I just grab her inside the mouth. Oh yeah. For a first bass ever, that's quite, quite a fish. Uh, it's a nice, healthy, fat fish. Probably gonna be two and three quarter, three pounds, maybe a little bit more. But we're not gonna put her through the stress of putting her on a scale. But beautiful fish. Just turn sideways. Yeah. Look at that. So what was it like? You know, is it what you expected? Um. Yeah. Um. It's. It's a lot different than saltwater fishing, that's for sure. Um, the, the the weight and the struggle in order to catch this fish was... She made you earn it. Did she go, come back to life? Oh, she's good. She's just disoriented. Okay. Yeah, see? She's golden. A little oxygenator. We didn't even need to throw the GGs in there today. It's been so cold. Sorry, where was it at? What? But yeah, it, it was a struggle, um, right? We roll up with the first cast. I'm trying to show you how to fish a dot crawler. We hook a big one. Yeah. And we lost it because I tried to hand it off to you. And that's just the fish gods telling us, like, you guys shouldn't probably be doing yeah. that. Um, and um, then, you know, we had another another bite with a nice fish and lost that one. And then, I actually saw that one. That right. was yours. Yeah. I saw it come in and then I don't know how it broke off. Um, I'm terrible. <laughs> Um, but I kept thinking that I was catching fish the whole time, you know, I would feel it. I don't know if it was the current, the wind, whatever, but for sure, for sure, when, when I hooked her, I knew I had her. Um, and then I panicked because I don't want to lose it because that was kind of the theme of now, the day. Now you're doing, you did good. And you stayed in the pocket. You were focused. Uh, you listened to the coaching. Yeah, that was amazing. Um, just trying not to be like over aggressive with it. Cause that's how I am in saltwater. I like roll, 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 and I was just afraid of snapping her off if I did that. So, yeah. That was great. You yeah. kicked butt. Proud yeah. of you. Yeah, I'm super stoked. I'm kind of bummed we didn't get another one. Well, you know uh, what people aren't going to really see is that we're on the backside of like a multi-day storm, mm -hmm. and I didn't want to let you know that fishing is generally tough on the backside of these storms. Oh, you so, know what? that's the first time I'd ever heard anything. Like yeah, that. it's a real phenomenon. So they call it post front uh, post front blues, and it can be a real struggle. Uh, you know, we got three three fish to eat. We hooked three. Um, we had a couple other bites that I watched happen. We didn't did. connect with. I caught um, like at least three rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I got you some got, wood. You got. It's <laughs> true. Um, yeah, I'm super stoked can't wait to come back and do it again when it's warmer too supposedly rumor has it you can just drop lines and hook like 50 to 100 fish at a time <laughs> but like i have yet to see that but at least i live to see another day i did not get skunked i still have an 
all winners <laughs> record. You are winning. Yeah. Undefeated. Undefeated. I beat Oliver. Oh gosh. So <laughs> I'm kind of proud of that. It's like I don't want to showboat about it too much, but like I hooked it all on my own. There was no help there. I can't wait for all I can't on wait. your own. Yeah. Very first cast ever with that war baits under spin too. Oh, it was. Very first. It was. Yeah. And, and you know what? That's the first time. Okay. First freshwater, first largemouth bass, which is a check off my list. Okay. We'll get into that later, but mm -hmm. that's a... That's and a first fish on an artificial lure. And a first fish on an artificial lure. False, but on freshwater. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited. You're doing things. That's dope. Yeah, coming up here was it was amazing. I'm super glad I did it. Last minute trip, straight from work, eight and a half hour drive up to Sacramento. Savage. Down in LA, LA, Orange County. Um, all the way up to Sacramento. Very little sleep. Get up, hit the water, have like at least a couple hours of no no bites. Oh, I'm sorry. You had your bites. I thought this was going to be a dead day, but the fish got I think we up. made the most of it, to be honest. Yeah, it You know, yeah. Uh, it was tough. I don't think it's nearly as cold as, like, what what I thought it was going to be, too. It's freezing. beautiful. He's freezing. I'm doing okay. Well, it's she probably, had the stormer gear on. It's probably... That's true. And it's probably because, uh, because my adrenaline's pumping because I caught one. That's sick. <laughs> yeah. That's so sick. Yeah. Dope. Well, let's get some uh, still shots so we can share this to the gram. Super excited. And uh, we'll let her uh, on our way and go, go get busy because it's that time of year for them. Yeah. High five. Victoria's first bass. First of many. We named your cherry. Come a little closer to me if you can. There you go. She's ready to go. Nice release. So now smell your fingers. You know what that is? Success. Glory. That's a that's a pop cherry. That's what that is. Whoa, whoa. That's a pop and release cherry. Bye, cherry. <laughs> I'm like so ADHD that it's like I forget what I'm saying. Well, you know, while we were putting in, you just started going off on oh, how worth it was to to drive all the way up here. How surprising it was. Oh, that's what I was saying about how I get such a high off doing things like this because it's it's not just catching the fish it was all the moments leading up to it it's being at work all day I actually haven't fished in weeks weeks as in like months but I don't like to say that so I say weeks instead lots of weeks um, and being at work all day, having no sleep, sick the night before, go to work, get off, drive eight and a half hours up to Sacramento, get here at like, what, midnight? Virtually, yeah. Yeah, get asleep by like 1, 1.30, up again in the morning to go fishing. Um, getting out here, not really catching anything. It's cold, not as cold as I know that it can be, but it's still cold when you're from Orange County, you know? And and then just landing the fish, and and it doesn't matter if that, that was the only one. I would have been happy. I would have been happy no matter what, even if I didn't catch a fish. And of course it matters that you catch a fish, but just the, the, the fact that I'm willing to like get up and go and just do s like that stuff like that that that's what I love you know yeah I wish more people would do it you know just get out and do things
because it's not yeah. it's not easy for people to jump out of their comfort zone. No, I think it's you not, did that a little bit. Yeah, I, well, it's not well, it's not easy to to you know. We're all busy. We all work. We all have crazy lives. Like none of us are out here. No matter what we try to portray, we're not out here fishing every single day. Like it's so hard to make time and get out and do it. It's hard enough. I've I've put off and made excuses to go fishing down the street from where I live. Like I could walk to go fishing and I haven't done it. And there was just something about this trip that I just I had to do it. Jumped in my car, didn't even change. Like I showed up here in my like blazer and like work outfit still. Eight and a half hours of driving to jump on a boat just for the chance of possibly catching a fish because it could have been a total bust. I could have driven eight and a half hours for fucking nothing. I mean, come but on, the nothing. Experience, but the experience. But of course, I cost. I, I caught a big ass large mouth bass, yes, so did. totally made it worth it. Yeah. Absolutely, you did. Yeah, it's it's a good way to just bring it all together, right? The entire experience. And one of the things that we talked about before on this channel with Chris is living in the gray. Like all those other things you were talking about is in the gray. Uh, getting blanked, that's black. Catching a fish, that's white. Mm -hmm. But it's everything else in the middle. Yeah. That's what I love about it. I love, I love the, I love the chase. I love, I love not knowing. And that anxiety, I still haven't not caught a fish before, you know? And now I still have that anxiety, you know, like every time that excitement and that anxiety of, oh my God, I wonder if this is going to be that time. And I'm very grateful I haven't had that yet, but I know it's going to happen. <laughs> so we should probably just get out and fish more <laughs> so I could do that. Yeah, I'm stoked. That's sick. Yeah. Fishing is dope. Fishing is dope. Don't believe what they're telling you. Fishing is dope. Fishing is dope. Let's go celebrate. Yes. It's St. Patty's Day. It is and St. now Patrick you can celebrate Day. like legit. Right? Because it would have been like. J, a... J Mo and Picklebacks. Uh oh. And <laughs> Alright, kids, and tune I will, out. Tune I out, will, kids. And I will do my, and I will do my um, Irish jig. Let me do my Irish jig. Oh, oh good grief. Here we go.